Gemma is a mermaid. No, really. She lives in the Atlantic Ocean with her family and friends. Can you tell who the youngest sister in the family is just by looking at them? Take a look at the granny mermaid. She has plenty of starfish on her tail. It's a hint. Each star symbolizes one year of life. That means that the second mermaid is the youngest. Her tail is decorated with 15 starfish, which means she's 15. And two other sisters are 18 and 22 years old, respectively. Now one day, Gemma went to a mermaid party. But one of the guests was not a real mermaid. Can you tell who it was? This shark over there is not a mermaid. Gemma's mother, Fiona, owns a cute one-story jewelry store for mermaids. She came to her store early in the morning and found out that the most expensive necklace had been stolen. She called the underwater police. Detective Fisher (laughs) arrived and questioned Fiona. I closed the store at 10 p.m. and went home. The pearl necklace was still right there. Detective Fisher identified three suspects. The owner of the store next door said, I closed my door at 8 p.m. and went home right after that. The guard said, I was on duty last night. Perhaps the thief snuck into the store when I was patrolling another floor. And the cleaning lady said that she'd finish cleaning at 4 p.m. Then she rushed home because her husband was having a birthday party. So, who's lying? The guard. Fiona's shop is a one-story building. He couldn't be on another floor when the necklace was stolen. There's no other floor. Gemma was swimming with dolphins and reached the surface of the ocean. Suddenly, she noticed two handsome guys, Nick and Rick, and they were both in trouble. Which guy should Gemma say first? Rick. Although this wooden boat is a bit flooded with water, it's still okay, and Nick can scoop the water out. But this inflatable boat is damaged. Rick will soon find himself in the water, and a shark is nearby. Gemma saved both guys and brought them to the shore. Nick grabbed his phone and took her picture without permission. Gemma asked him to delete the photo, because merfolk didn't want people to know about them. Nick said, okay, I'll delete the evidence. But first, you gotta crack my riddle. Salty water everywhere, but not sea in sight. What am I talking about? Can you help Gemma? The correct answer is tears. Rick asked Gemma on a date, and she said yes. She went to a local witch doctor to buy a potion to get human legs for 24 hours. The door to the witch's house was locked, and the note said, If you want to meet me, find the key first. Can you help Gemma find the key? Here it is! Gemma opened the door with the key and found another door that required a password. There was a note on the door. What has 88 keys but cannot open a single door? Can you help Gemma crack the code? It's a piano! Gemma didn't have any money. The witch offered her this deal. If you guess my riddle, I'll give you the potion for free. But if you don't crack it, you will be my servant forever. So listen, two in a hole and four in a pack. Six in a trio, you see. Eight's a quartet, but what you must get is the name that fits just one of me. What am I? Gemma cracked this riddle right away and got her potion. What about you? The correct answer is half. 
Gemma got the potion, drank it, and turned into a human. There were three routes she could take to get to the meeting point. The first path led through a village inhabited by vampires. The second path is full of toxic flowers that could make her lose her mind. And the third path went through an enchanted forest that blocked all magic and canceled all previous spells. Which Uh way should Gemma choose? The first option is the safest. It's a sunny day and vampires are probably sleeping. Rick and Gemma met at a restaurant called Three Mermaids. But there are only two statues of mermaids on the porch. The owner of the cafe, Victor, is well aware of this and could easily fix this. But he doesn't. Why? This is his business strategy. Passers-by notice the mistake, enter the restaurant to inform the owner, and often stay for lunch. Rick is a detective at the police station. During his dinner with Gemma, he received an urgent call from work. Jeff, a country house owner, said that his housekeeper had tried to get rid of him. The night before, the housekeeper gave him an apple for dessert. The man took a bite and passed out. He woke up the next morning and immediately called the police. Rick and Gemma went to the crime scene. The housekeeper denied everything. Gemma didn't know who to believe. But when Rick examined the crime scene, he understood who was lying right away. Who's the liar? The housekeeper or the owner? The owner said he'd eaten a poison apple. So if it happened the day before, This apple must be brown now, but it's not. The man must have bitten into it just before calling the police. Gemma didn't notice this clue because she doesn't live on land. Rick and Gemma decided to have a picnic in a sunflower field. But something's wrong here. Can you tell what exactly? The wind is blowing the clouds to the right, but the sunflowers are swinging to the left. That's impossible. Gemma fell asleep in the field. When she woke up, Rick was gone. She looked around and saw an evil elf. He said, I have put your boyfriend in jail, mermaid. If you want to see him again, solve my puzzle. I can be red, blue, purple, and green. No one can reach me, not even the queen. What am I? Can you help Gemma save Rick? The correct answer is Rainbow. The elf took Gemma to his secret lab. He said, I've cloned your boyfriend so we don't need him anymore. Now you may take him home. Unfortunately, I don't remember which of them is the real Rick. But you know better. Can you help Gemma decide which of these guys is her Rick? This guy has three fingers. This Rick's teeth are too sharp for a human. This Rick lacks eyebrows, and this one has pointed ears. So this one is the only real human. The elf returned Rick to Gemma. The guys rushed away from his lab. It began to rain, and they decided to hide in an old, creepy castle. When they entered the building, they saw a beautiful fountain. That's when Rick and Gemma realized that they were not alone. There were many ghosts in this castle. Can you figure out the exact number? There are seven ghosts in this picture. One of the ghosts is hiding inside the fountain. And the guy over there is not a ghost. He has feet, and he's sweating. He's the owner of the castle. The owner showed Rick and Gemma his art collection. It contained an ancient and expensive item he was very proud of. This is a picture created by a 16th century artist. (laughs) I got it from my father, and he got it from his father, too, and so on. But Rick didn't believe that the painting was original and called the castle owner a liar. Why? (laughs) 
See this plastic cup? It couldn't exist in the 16th century. Well, it stopped raining and the guys decided to leave the castle. But the door had disappeared. The owner of the castle was very angry and offered them only three options to escape. There was a tunnel with a fire burning inside behind the first door. Dangerous, angry snakes were waiting behind the second door. And there was a portal leading to a black hole behind the third door. Which door should Gemma and Rick choose? The first door. They can put the fire out using the water from the fountain and vases from this shelf. Rick and Gemma went to the beach because the 24-hour spell was coming to an end. Gemma had to return to the Sea Kingdom. Suddenly, the Wicked Witch appeared out of nowhere and said, You guys are so cute! I don't want you to be apart. If you manage to solve my riddle, I'll turn Gemma into a human for good. Here's your task. How to poke a balloon without bobbing it. What do you think? Rick cracked this riddle right away. What about you? The correct way to do it is by letting the air out of the balloon first. Gemma became a human. Rick was very glad and invited her to go on vacation right away. They arrived at the airport, but suddenly an elegant lady began to shout. Someone had snatched her super expensive bag. Rick reacted quickly. He detained three suspicious passengers who had been hanging around for the last hour. Rick and the airport security watched the footage from the cameras. Unfortunately, they could only find the footage of the events from five minutes before the theft. So, who's the criminal? It's the guy over there. The elderly woman's bag only looks bigger because she put her jacket inside. And the stolen bag wouldn't fit in this girl's purse. Gemma was living happily with Rick. But one day, she received this postcard from her mermaid sister. Gemma was horrified. She dropped everything and went back to the Sea Kingdom to save her sister. But when she got there, she saw that her sister was safe. How did she survive? See these theater curtains in the picture? It was a show for the inhabitants of the sea. Well, that figures. 